Hey guys, you're watching Dan Ski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to create a swirling logo in Adobe Illustrator. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and I've created a new artboard, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the toolbar and grab the ellipse tool and just left click and hold shift to draw a rather large circle. And we'll just go and remove that fill and leave just the black stroke for the circle. Now for this tutorial, I'd recommend going up to view and just making sure you have smart guides turned on, snap to point turned on, and if it's turned on, turn off snap to pixel. Now with this shape selected, we can go to edit, copy, edit and paste in place and we can scale down from one of the corners holding shift and if we hold down the alt key as well as shift it will scale that towards the center. Now this circle in the middle, the smaller circle, is going to be the part that is effectively transparent so we'll be able to see right through this and our swirl effect is going to be happening in this space here. So the next step is to select our smaller circle and go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place and we're going to scale up holding shift from one of the corners until we touch this left edge and you'll see those smart guides snap it in place. Now we're then going to drag over everything and from the align panel at the top or on the right, just select this option here, vertical align center and you'll see that it shuffles all of these into place. Now the next thing we're going to do is switch into outline mode and you can do this by pressing command or control Y and effectively, this is a wireframe view of your graphic in Illustrator without any styling applied. So we can zoom in really, really close. In fact, thousands of percent. Just check everything is lined up correctly before we go any further. And it looks good to me. So we can zoom back out and we can actually stay in outline mode as well. So we'll next select this medium sized circle and we can do the same edit, copy, edit, paste in place or we can drag to the right, holding Alt and Shift. And by holding down the Alt key as well, it will create a copy. And we can then hold Shift and left click both of those medium circles. And then again, go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place, and rotate from one of the corners. So we'll just rotate and you can hold Shift and it will snap to those 45 degree increment rotations. And with this one, we want to go 90 degrees. So you should end up with something that looks like this. Now the next step is to drag over everything and then go over here into our toolbar and look for the shape builder tool. So you'll have the shape builder tool here or it will be the live paint bucket tool. Just left click and hold and you'll be able to access that. And what the shape builder tool allows us to do is to select different segments and drag through them and merge them all into one shape. So what we're going to do is we will start up here and we'll just start dragging through and you can see the shapes highlighted in red that are caught in our selection are going to become one shape and you will need a CC version of Illustrator to have access to the shape builder tool. And we're just dragging through. And we'll do the same here. So essentially at the end of this, we will have two swirls. And if you do make a mistake with the Shape Builder tool, don't worry, just go up to Edit and then go Undo and then have another go. So there we go, we have our two swirls. Next, what we're going to do is drag over both of these and go to Edit, copy and you guessed it edit paste in place and again rotate from the corner and hold shift to snap to that 90 degree rotation and now we've got four swirls and we're going to drag over these four swirls go edit copy edit paste in place and again rotate from the corner and then hold shift to snap to that 45 degree rotation and we've now got these eight swirls so it's coming together pretty well. Now the next thing we're going to do is come out of outline mode, which is command or control Y. And you can see we have lots of different stroke weights applied in different places. 
some are a bit thicker, some are a bit thinner, but don't worry about that because we're actually going to drag over everything, go to our stroke at the bottom of the toolbar and click none and remove it all together. And you might be thinking, well, Dan, I can't see anything now. Even though our shape that we've created has no styling, if we go back into outline mode, which is command or control Y, it still shows the wireframe, it's all still there, we just have no fill, no stroke applied, so it's just rendered invisible. But it is still there, I promise you. So the next thing we can do is drag over this, and then left click and hold where the shape builder tool is, and go down to the live paint bucket tool. And if you hover over this, you'll see it says, click to make a live paint group. And doing this will convert this from a regular set of shapes in Illustrator into something that is called a live paint group, which means we can easily just simple click and apply colors. So let's click that once. And you might see this message here, just click okay. And this is now a live paint group. So I can select a color, highlight a segment and just click and it will add that color. But before we start giving this color, we're going to go to our swatches panel and define two global swatches. So it doesn't matter what they are. So let's just double click on yellow here, tick global, and we'll double click on, let's go for this color here and select global. Now the reason we select global is because we're going to start adding color to this in a minute. And once we've added all of the color, we can easily update these global swatches here just by double clicking them and changing all of the values and any instance of that color in our document will easily be updated from here. So if we drag over this now and come out of outline mode, command or control Y, we can now start adding color to our graphic. So we can pick a color if you do pick a color with the main selection tool, it will add that color to everything. So it's important to first click on the live paint tool. With this selected, you, are, you can then select color from the swatches panel without it applying anything. And then it will wait for you to click. So we can just left click and you can left click on each segment or you can just drag all the way around and apply the color this way. So we're applying it just to this area and leaving the bit in the middle transparent. Now at the moment, this is a live paint group. So we can paint, we can do all that cool stuff, but there's other things we can't do. So once you've painted all of these different segments, just one color to start with, we can then go to object, expand, and leave all of these options here selected and click OK. And then now we've taken it back. So it's just a regular shape in Illustrator. And it's all grouped together as well. So just select the shape, go to object, ungroup, and you may need to do this a few times. Just keep ungrouping until you can't anymore. And now we can pull all of these segments apart. So now what we can do, I'm just going to recenter this because it's annoying me that it's not in the middle. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select just one segment, make sure the fill is selected here. And we're going to go to the gradient panel and just left click anywhere on that slider and it will apply that default black to white gradient and just double click on the swatch on the left and add your first color. So in this case, yellow and double click on the second swatch and add your second color. So we've now got these two colors and you can of course adjust things like the angle if you want or you can click this to reverse them so you can fine tune your gradient. And then once you've created that one gradient, this is the magic bit. Just drag over everything, select the eyedropper tool, and we're going to sample this gradient and it will sample that gradient and apply it to every single swirl. And voila, we've created a pretty effective swirl really quickly. And we can then drag over this, go back to the gradient panel, and type in a specific angle if we want. We can change that angle so it adjusts it for the whole thing. We can adjust the gradient slider or the midpoint of the gradient. If you really want to, we can reverse it. So there's a ton of different things we can do. And we can even select individual segments and just fine tune these if we're going for a specific effect. So if you'd like to go for a specific effect for each segment, just select that one segment or drag over everything and then edit it from the gradient panel. But the reason we created these global swatches is now 
we can go back into them by double clicking the swatch and then just adjust these sliders with the preview box checked. And now in real time, we can adjust those sliders and see how it impacts the gradient. And then click OK. So those global swatches now allow you to quickly and easily update this. You've got the gradient panel where you can adjust the gradients within your image. And there we go. We're done. And there we go. That's how to create a swirling gradient logo all in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.